एवरीवन होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट एंड यू हैड अ ग्रेट मंडे नाउ टुडे इन दिस डिफरेंट मंडे सीरीज आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर अ कांसेप्ट व्हिच इज व्हिच इज वेरी मच रिस्पांसिबल फॉर नॉट ओनली मंडे ब्लूज बट ऑल काइंड ऑफ ब्लूज बिलीव मी आई एम वेयरिंग अ ब्लू आई लव वेयरिंग ब्लूज बट वी ऑल वांट टू गेट रिड ऑफ मंडे ब्लूज सो एनी गेसेस नो नो आइडिया दिस इज अबाउट एजम्पशंस we all assume we start judging a person uh before even knowing the person and start assuming through our so called intelligent brain now before we jump on to the message of the video let me share this um story with you uh there's an organization where they have a tradition uh that whoever gets appointed the ceo of the organization uh invites the person for lunch a three course meal and hands over the appointment letter on his own so as per the tradition there this was a day when he had to uh, hand over the appointment letter to the country head hr department of course it was a big designation and uh, he goes there so uh, they off they orders first of all the soup because it was a three course meal so uh, they started having soup but before even uh, the person could taste the soup he added some salt and pepper into the soup it's okay the the ceo of the organization gave uh, a, you know silent smile and then they ordered food they had food they had a good chit chat and they left but the ceo did not hand over the appointment letter any idea why didn't he give the offer letter or the appointment letter whereas everything was done it was finalized it was a tradition just to hand over but he did not give so he comes back to his office and gives the packet back to the hr department the hr department was surprised and the person asked sir you did not give this letter to mr xyz he says no i did not he is not the right fit you can start searching for a new person but sir he was a perfect fit we have been searching him we have been you know we interviewed him and all the sessions he was amazing he was out of the box he said no he doesn't deserve this but sir i'm curious to know what happened then he narrated the story in a way that when we ordered soup without tasting he added salt and pepper in the soup so what has this to do with the appointment letter so the ceo says that means this person takes decisions on assumptions whatever his brain says he assumes and takes the decision so what it's a very little thing do you think it's a little thing then you are next to go now understand the concept he meant that the hr head that's a designation that's a position where you are going to appoint the most important asset of the organization that's people now if with your assumptions you are going to do that job that means the fate of the company is is in the hands of a person who takes decisions on assumptions so he's not the right fit that was the concept now let's relate it to our life in life also we come across through many people and we start assuming if we feel that the person has attitude on the face we start assuming that the person is arrogant so we assume on our own without even finding the details without even knowing the person who the person is how the person is what are the situations but we draw an image in our mind and whole life we live with those assumptions so i want all of you to do an activity just pause this video write down the names of all those people you think that you assumed them to be bad as per you and you lost that long term relationships with them i'm sure the list is long i myself had done so many mistakes i lost so many good relations so many good friends so many good mentors colleagues in my workplace only because of assumptions 
so let's give a try let's not assume let's try to know the person do not judge the book by its cover you cannot learn from the book unless and until you read it similarly each and every human being is a beautiful creation by the god nobody is bad they become bad because of the circumstances or the situations but try to understand them and that's what you can do at the workplace and then just see how enjoyable your work will be whether it is a monday or a tuesday you would always want to go to at work so try this and i'm sure it will help you share your experience with me and if you could actually find such people in your life just comment a yes so that i i get the confidence that yes you all agree with me and those who uh, write any comment uh you get the free ebook of a different monday because you listened the video you invested time in listening to me without assuming whether i'm good or bad so thank you so much for staying tuned and if you have not subscribed do subscribe for my channel because i come every monday with a small motivation tweak which might help you to get inspired and fight with those monday blues but keep wearing blue clothes they are the best and i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye